let's enjoy this uh, little flight that I have set up. Um, I'm showing you the difference between the uh, original uh, GoPro lens that comes with the GoPro 4 Black. And uh, we've got the solo up. As you notice, the props just uh, right in the view of our video. And also, every time I tilt the gimbal, you can see the extreme uh, fisheye there in the horizon. And we're just taking a little flight here to show you the difference between the uh, upgraded lens that I have. So right now, let's go ahead and take a look and examine this video as I go ahead and take this flight. One of the things that impresses me with the new upgraded lens is that the images seem a lot closer. Uh, this way uh, you can avoid hitting an object that you're trying to focus on but still get the clarity and uh, the closest look on there without having to get too close without causing a crash. Um, heading over to the clubhouse and uh, we'll just take a little flight over there and then on the second half of the upgraded lens you're going to see me do the same flight. I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you what uh, this does. So at this point we are flying over the clubhouse. We're going to go ahead and tilt. You notice that the fisheye effect just seems to get extreme. And we're just over the clubhouse flying. And we will be tilting uh, back up again and show you the difference. So every time that it tilts you can see that it stretches the image um, with that fisheye look. And Obviously, you can see it and noticeable on the horizon. So at this time, we're going to look at that. Now, this same image that I'm taking with the new lens is going to look and appear much closer, uh, giving me some sharpness and detail in the image. The uh, new lens is uh, obviously going to be a little smaller. Um, when I took off the old one, um, the circumference of the actual lens on the GoPro original uh, compared to the new upgraded lens which is a 4.3 millimeter lens is much smaller so the ring that goes on the uh, original GoPro lens I had to take it and put it on the uh, new upgraded lens and use it as a, uh, a dust guard and I'll show you a picture of that uh, at the end of the video so we're going to be going into the second portion uh, of our upgraded video. Uh, we're just going to take it back to our landing location. And this is the new part here. So we're, now we're switching over to the upgraded lens. As you notice, there's no props in my video. And the horizon is straight. And we're just taking it easy. You can see that uh, the images are much larger. They, they appear closer. I'm approximately probably about 100 uh, maybe to 95 feet. Uh, with the uh, first video with the original GoPro lens um, somewhere about the same. So as I tilt the gimbal you'll, you'll always notice that the horizon stays level. And we're taking the same route um, that we took and we're going to go up to the lake as well, uh, the little pond I guess you want to call it, and we're going to take a look at that uh, on the same flight as we did on the original uh, first video with the original GoPro 4 lens. Uh, difference on the quality of the, the original GoPro lens to this upgraded 4.35 millimeter lens, um, definitely a, a more color and the images uh, when taking pictures are really sharp um, and the video as well is just uh, different much better quality okay we're gonna go ahead and we will have some sun reflection on the lens I don't have a filter on this flight you can see that we're taking pretty much the same route we're gonna go ahead and uh, tilt down start turning and focus on there goes the reflection of the sun it will it will uh, pass us because I'm going to be facing the other direction going north uh, once I turn and you're not going to see that glare from the sun but just pay attention to the image and you can always go back and look at the first video that I did there we go okay so we're turning around and you can see now 
Um, look at the, the colors are pretty much right there. Colors are uh, pretty much exact. Uh, we are filming at 4K at 30 frames per second with the GoPro 4 Black. And you can see the colors and look at that. There's no uh, image um, fisheye as I'm raising the gimbal and I'm going back to my landing destination again. And you can see you got the colors real bright and we're moving uh, at a slow pace because this way you can actually see uh, the cinematic look of this video. We're coming back. The temperature outside um, somewhere about 48, 50 degrees. It's a little cold. The battery flight did not last as long as usually on a warm day because of the cold temperatures uh, depleting the battery's life. But all in all, it came out pretty good. I was using my uh, DYI battery that I made. If you look at some of my videos that I've made on the DYI battery on the Multistar uh, 5200 milliamp battery at uh, 10C discharge. Okay, now we're going back to the clubhouse. So you're going to see the difference uh, from the first video to the uh, second video that you're watching right now with the clubhouse. And you can see uh, the image much closer and more detailed as well. I'm going to go ahead and tilt it. And I've got the sun glaring from the east. And look at that. And coming back around. Just basically going to go to the um, going to turn and go to the length of the clubhouse. Coming back around, I'll be bringing the gimbal back up and give you a full image as we return back. Uh, to, okay, there we go. And we'll be raising it. The colors look great uh, with this lens. I did notice that I didn't think there would be a difference in the image of the colors, but they sure are a difference in the image, and especially when you're looking at something close up with the camera, uh, you can tell the detail in the true colors. If I had a filter on this, uh, it would clean up some of this glare. And now we're going back to our landing. Hope you've enjoyed our video. Subscribe.